Hello and welcome back. Um, another video on Asus to do backup free 5.0. Uh, this video is made on the 30th October 2012 and this time I'm doing a disk clone using a USB um, docking station. Uh, one of these things. Um, instead of taking the uh, a slave driver uh, from the primary as in the previous video I'm going to use the disk do uh, docking station which is a USB docking station uh, something that looks like this um, so hook it up to the power lead that comes with it uh, connect the USB put the SATA drive in the docking station and uh, switch it on and boot up the ESUS to do backup and um, you'll see uh, it doesn't show here but uh, when it did earlier but when you click on disk clone you'll see the source drive as disk 1 which is my 1 terabyte SATA drive partitioned into 2 C and D and the destination so I'm going to select that it's already selected the source so I'm going to click next and then you select the destination disk to clone which is the USB drive I don't know if you can see it there there it is and uh, you select that and it's gonna copy the exact partition uh, leave the rest of it as it is click next and then it tells you there's your source drive disk one see make sure it's the right one and the layout after clone you can drag the partition to resize. I'm going to leave it as it is because I want a mirror copy. Uh, and uh, yeah, so all looks good. Click proceed, and uh, it's going to calculate. You can shut the computer down and go away and make yourself a cup of tea while this is going on. What I'm going to do is pause it because it's going to take a while. And it would be a good idea to also uh, make sure your computer doesn't go to sleep uh, so uh, any power management devices if you're going to control panel and uh, click on system properties click on program and you get uh, balance so what I've done is uh, select it the put the computer to sleep never for uh, and then you can put it back to what this this previous setting that was about 30 minutes and it's now initializing the clone and uh, starting the master boot record completed the volume it's checking the partition commit to target etc as it says here and it's now copying the source partition uh, it's gonna take a while and I'm gonna pause it if I just uh, open up my pause just coming back to see it's 30 minutes now and that's how much time has gone 17 minutes so I'll give it a few minutes we'll come back uh, depending on the size of your drive uh, this is going to carry on until it's finished obviously so uh, come back in a minute. Let's pause the video. Hi there. Just to catch up to show that it's gone 32 minutes 34 remaining but elapsed time 1 hour 2 minutes 34. Not really a very accurate indication but uh, it's uh, copied target clone completed now it's doing the other partition uh, from the source to the target G it's called it G and B uh, when it's finished I'll let you know uh, yeah just have a look make sure yeah it's a C and D drive so quite a lot on C and D and not a lot on C drive so I'll, I'll just uh, resume after this is done and uh, come back when he's finished so I'm gonna pause it again right back to the uh, uh, cloning it looks like it's finished it's taken four hours 37 
55 4 hours 37 minutes 55 seconds and it's completed um, obviously I found it a little bit slower uh, but not too bad uh, if you do it at night um, let's finish that then it's fine um, but if you, you put it as a uh, secondary drive in your computer uh, uh, before boot up as in the first video uh, that tends to be a little bit faster but uh, but then it, this is it this is the um, C drive and that's the clone and that's the backup and that's the clone so it's worked um, that's it for now um, hope you enjoyed the video just look at the management uh, log rather yeah I did the uh, I, I stopped that I started doing it there uh, so ignore that um, but it's this one started at 11 uh, successful if you view that yeah it's 11 I can't remember now I think it was 11 uh, yeah so it's worked fine Um the last clone was on the 29th which is when I made the first video just after that rather and uh, that was successful so I uh, can't remember how long that took can't tell from this it just says time log list start finish oh yeah so that was uh, started at one finished at that uh, I suppose and uh, this one is the new one oh still does it uh, this is a bit but but there you go it's it's worked fine and it's successful uh, this, this one uh, and that's it all you do is now just uh, close that and um, shut your mach close your PC and uh, put away the clone disk um, I thought I mentioned um, some pictures I came across of what the dock station looks like this is how the SATA uh, <coughs> disk looks uh, it's exposed obviously um, <coughs> you have to be careful and that's the on off switch this is the power and that's the USB um, and um, that's how it looks like from the front view and um, this is the side view and that's the the other one so yeah thanks for watching um, just um, and um, bye for now